Ready. Ready. Fall camp rumors. All I'm saying. Fall camp rumors. I want to fall camp. Have y'all heard anything from fall camp before I get Yes, started? I heard about Kyle McCord sucking. Well, y'all still you're about to you're about to your excitement's about to die. Stop it. All right. So I got some fall camp rumors. This is what we hear. There's look, let's be clear. There's people that scout these practices that report this stuff that are there for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, however long. They're not there for the whole practice. They do not see everything that's going on. So let's just make that very clear. So that mm-hmm. this us these rumors and rumors and everything that we're talking about do, do not mean too too much as far as how the team will look. So let's make mm-hmm. that clear. Yep. So uh Clemson, like we all thought, lack of wide receiver depth. Dabo Sweeney came out and said in a conference that he didn't think that they would not kick a 70-yard field goal this year. So he ex- anticipates that they can kick 70-yard field goals. To me, that means that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, so two things. Two things. Boy, I guess out. You're, you're... Sorry. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> no, I was saying they got the sling rings out there. Like, we're just going to put a portal yeah. just... Yeah. yeah, so, so I mean, <laughs> what it tells me is they they got a great kicker and they can't mm-hmm. push the ball down the field, which wide receiver problems, like I said. So, seems to be that that's still the issue. I think they'll they're still working towards that. So we'll we'll kind of figure that out. I Hold wish up. I, I um, wish I had the soundboard or wherever he did that interview. I would have been like, Ooh. Fish it, fish it. <laughs> Tell me. my Duke upset week one versus Clemson. Crap, your Duke up uh, your. Yes, you upset. I didn't your, see you pick Duke, Duke last upset. week. I still said that they can upset them. You said they can uh, upset we, them. We, we all, I, we've been talking about uh, Riley, man. Stop. We all have, but I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have, that could be right. You was the last one to jump on the train. What you mean? Mm. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that was man. So Auburn uh, at, at Auburn, there, there's reportedly still a, a quarterback battle. With Robbie Ashford, Peyton Thorne. Apparently, Peyton Thorne ain't looking that great, and Robbie Ashford might actually take it over. Hold on, let me. Oh, which means Robert, up, Robbie Ashford. What did I say? Let me ask you Manny, Manny, let me talk my junk. What did I say? I said this on this show weeks ago when we started talking about this. <laughs> I said, do not forget that competition brings the best out of people, and Robbie Ashford could turn out to be the number one guy at the end of the day. Mm hmm. Did I not say this? <laughs> and, and wait, Good boy, Peyton up. Thorne is not good, man. Who would have thought Peyton Thorne not doing good without Jaden Reed and Kenneth Walker? Hmm. Well, who would have thought Peyton Reed, uh, Peyton, uh, Peyton, 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 Thorne, <laughs> Peyton Reed, Peyton Thorne, not a very good quarterback. Yeah, it's not hmm. a surprise. But, but yeah, like Dante said, maybe the, maybe the competition brought it out of Robbie Ashford. <laughs> Robbie Ashford is mainly a runner, so maybe he's been threatened to throw, and maybe he's. He freeze maybe got him dialed in, so it's not it's it's not. That's so like much somebody coming to your job and doing the same job as you, but he's already getting a little bit of seniority because of where he came from. And you're like, bro, hold up! I knew it you ain't just about to. I'm about to pull out the special weapon. I'm about to. I'm, yeah, here we go. I'm about to pull uh-huh. it out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and that's that's definitely added motivation. So I I definitely could see it, but that's the word. Apparently, uh, there's definitely a battle going on. And Robbie Ashford, we know he runs like a four four. So like this man has the dual threat capability. So I've been there's on I've been on the that. war. I'm I I go into like random forums sometime and the War Eagle forum. I usually like I've been going to, and I've just been keeping this quiet until Fishing was going to say something because I've been hearing the <laughs> same thing. Because there's a couple of like beat writers in there. And they're like, he is not good. Why did we accept his transfer? Why didn't we? And one dude was like, why didn't we do more to try to bring Casey Thompson here? I was like, I don't know. And why didn't we offer more money to Talia? Because you and, had something sitting back in the vault. And why wouldn't Hugh Freeze want to want to have a quarterback similar to Malik Willis, huh? It has a good point, dude. That's a good point, too. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm saying. That's a great point. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So next, um, Bama's been struggling a little, a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. But Jalen Milrow is is turning out to be. I think he's going to be the starter now. You have Buckner, 
Ty Simpson and Milrow. This this is just my opinion. Y'all can tell me how y'all feel about this, but Milrow uh, played against Texas A&M last year. He didn't turn the ball over. He showed. He- oh, <laughs> we lost him. What did he show? <laughs> what did he show? <laughs> Bruh, Nick Saban's like, no, can't have me talking. Any, what? Fish, anyway. You good? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, y'all screwed me up. Anyway, uh, Buckner. Uh-huh. Wait, what? 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 Hold up, bro. You're in the multiverse. <laughs> oh my god. Dante, you, you, oh my god. Dante, did you put him there? God. Bro, Nick Saban is not the like. Hell? Nick Saban's like, Dante, you can't say crap, boy. You can't Yo, say crap. What is going on with Fishin's camera? Fishin', Fishin', stop it. Nick Saban's trying to kill you, What's man. The Nick Saban's trying to kill you. <laughs> You look like bubblegum on my screen, bro. Hold you up. Like, like <laughs> Hold up, bro. Yeah. You look, you look like, like you're in an oil painting, bro. Hold on. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me get it refreshed. There we go. Okay, you good. You good. Read them. All right. What? what? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Take two. What was I saying? What was I saying? You were Fuck nerd. Right, all right, just, just, just start over. You said Jalen Milrose seems like he's getting the edge so all far. Right. But go ahead. Jalen Milrose getting the edge. Jalen Milrose played against A&M last year. He had no no turnovers. He he won the game for Alabama against A and M. It was his first start ever at Alabama. Then you got Ty Simpson hasn't had any experience at all at Alabama. Don't know if he's going to turn the ball over at all. Then you got Tyler Buckner coming in, and Tyler Buckner we knew turned the ball over a little bit of times last year. If I know anything about Nick Saban, and this is just my point of view, I don't think Nick Saban's going to give anybody the Q, the QB reins that's going to turn the ball over. So Buckner kind of falls to the wayside. I think Tyler. Simpson is kind of like remains to be seen. Tyler, yeah. Butler, Tyler Simpson, which Tyler uh, is second string, by the way. But yeah, I think Jalen Milrow has kind of stood out as being a passer, and we all know he's got the dual threat capability. He's almost like an AR and a uh, Joe Milton. Uh, he's, he's got both them capabilities, which nobody is talking about, by the way. Uh, so Ooh. that's kind of a kind of a little sleeper for Bama there. But what do y'all think about that? I would. No, I mean it's it's possible. If it is, that is, that's the guy that Saban recruited. We know Saban doesn't really use the transfer portal a lot. Besides the shit. Uh, I mean that could potentially just be for depth. Yeah. Um. I mean this is this is gonna Dr. be going to talk him into it too. This okay. is gonna be a competition you're gonna see. Oh yeah. Like pretty much until week one, which luckily they face Middle Tennessee week one, so that's kind of. They're able to kind of mess around a little bit, find out. But I mean, yeah, that's the, it's possible. This is the guy that saved me. Yeah. So. yeah the The only thing I'll say about that situation in in particular is, so you got two sides of the equation. You got the first one being that Tyler Buckner was hurt. But he looked okay in the, in the games that he started. He looked okay to to great in, in some starts, right? So you had the positivity of that. So then Ty, I agree with you, Fisher. I think Tommy Reese probably had a little bit of influence because they were kind of in limbo between the other two quarterbacks that were there. And, the Jalen Mil- mm-hmm. and then Jalen Milrow, uh, like, w- we got to think about it like this, man. That dude can run like a 4-3. So when when we really think about it at the end of the day, the, the thing that we have to evaluate with ourselves is, again, like the Auburn situation, the competition and the threat of losing your job makes you step up even more. And and Jalen Milrow had probably learned a little bit from Tommy Reese on how to play the position better. And he probably learned with Tyler Buckner being there, being a better passer than he is. That's, that's just the straight facts of it all. Mm-hmm. And he probably elevated his game. But I really think that if if they don't start, well, who's been the most athletic quarterback that Alabama's Milrow. ever had? Milrow. Before Milrow. Before Milrow. Yeah. Depends. Bryce Young. Depends how it, they haven't had an athletic one. Outside of Bryce Young, no. No, they haven't. They haven't had an athletic quarterback in a, for as long as Nick Saban's been there. Oh, which I Hurts, think, Hurts, Hurts, Hurts. Roy made a good point. Hurts, yes. Yeah. Jalen yeah, Hurts, Hurts is the last Hurts. one, and he got replaced. And, and, Tua, and Tua could run a little bit. Tua could run a little bit. Yeah, but 
this is definitely it, it, the it's called most the college football, which is what Nick Saban does. Uh, yes, and Nick Saban hasn't had a athletic quarterback since Jalen Hurts. The athleticism like this dude has, like the dude is electrifying. Like you could put him at, at running back. That's how good he is. Mm-hmm. He's that damn fast. He's that damn athletic. So uh, I don't know if you guys seen his high school highlights, bro. He was incredible. So. You got that to think about in this whole equation when it comes to Alabama's situation, too. And maybe Nick Saban just didn't know what to do with him. And Tommy Reese is like, all right, let's bring Tyler Buckner here. Jalen Milrow or Tyler Buckner is probably going to declare for the draft this year, which is going to leave one of them behind. So which... It could have been a death move on why they brought Tyler Buckner there. And also, think about it like this, because nobody's saying this. Tyler Buckner is probably so raw, and Tommy Reese saw that, and think that Nick Saban and his squad can help develop him even more at a better program than he probably would have been at Notre Dame. And this is all in the grand scheme of things for Jalen Milrow to move on or edit the transport or declare for the draft, and Tyler Buckner to really be a monster next year, too. And not only that, but I'm glad you say that, but you could have Tyler Buckner or Ty Simpson start one year and then one start the other and they both go to the NFL. That situation is a possibility for both those quarterbacks. So that's the selling Mm -hmm. point also. Yeah. I mean, they're quarterbacks year after year. What's the last quarterback that didn't go to the NFL? Can you think of one? No. (laughs) Alabama? No. You can even go back to what's his name? That's on it. Uh, to ESPN, he got drafted too. What's yeah, the dude that they, does a college show? Um, I don't know. I can't remember the dude's name now. Greg McElroy. McElroy, thank you. Yeah, he McElroy. even got drafted. They players get drafted there. Just is what it is. The quarterbacks always do. The running backs always do. Their right. wide receivers always do. <laughs> uh, their tight ends always do. Their offensive line always do. You know what I'm saying? This it's like the, why Nick Saban is the goat. The goat. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. People forget this. People forget this stuff. Yeah. Shame. But yeah, uh, Roy, Roy Munson said I heard something interesting about no one scheduling Notre Dame anymore. Mm-hmm. I think they may be forced to join the Big Ten, that, and they should. Their biggest rival is there. They're in that area. Why not? Mm-hmm. Please. And it'll all and Big and if you really want to compete with the SEC, that's what you do. You bring a powerhouse like Notre Dame in there to even strengthen everything back up again. And really, it'll help Notre Dame out, not get cupcake players. They'll be forced to recruit better than they are, and they it, got the brand to do it. Mm-hmm. Big it Ten, I, and Big Ten, I told these guys last week, the Big Ten already has uh, has rights with NBC, who Notre Dame has exclusive rights to. So, yeah. It's not like anything would have to change. Look, everybody wants out of the ACC, all the big name people, which we're going to get to in a little bit. That's another thing too. We're going to get to a lot this show, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, the um, anyway, yeah, the SEC don't want them, and the Big Twelve, uh, the Big Twelve. I mean, I meant the ACC don't. Uh, yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, Hayden, no. go go ahead while while fishing's out. Give your thoughts on the Jalen Melrose situation. I find it interesting. I do. Because we know that Saban went into the transfer portal to get his guy. And everyone. Was it his guy or was it Tommy Reese's guy? That's the real. That's what I was going to allude to. People were saying how it was his guy. And now you're seeing in spring camp. Not. Oh, my goodness. Not spring. Fall. Fall camp. Like, it's looking out. Looking differently. Differently. So, it's like, huh. Maybe this was more long term than like right away, like people thought. So I find that interesting and kind of exciting too, because Alabama they're at that weird like transition. They're not going to go undefeated, apparent according to my record prediction. But it's like, yeah, it's they're they're in a weird transition for their program for, for the past like twenty years. So like this is like a huge trans. It's a transition year for Alabama, but a good year for any other school type of thing. Yeah. Fishing. Please. Fishing. Sorry, what's your thoughts of this? I know you alluded to I don't know if this is on it, but I know we jokingly talked about this. Let's talk about how apparently Marvin Harrison's looking like he's gotten a lot faster in the offseason. Yeah. Thank God. 
I didn't think that dude was going to be that good if he wasn't fast. Somebody said that he's going to run a... uh, He's gonna. He, well, he said that he could possibly run a four three, flat. Really? At the combine when it comes out. Interesting. It's reported that he's running like a four three eight right now. So, Ooh. well, until until fishing gets back. <laughs> Let's just can, move on into the Marvin Harrison thing. No, 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 no. We go. We go. We go. We We go. We go. Wait. But we're gonna do what we did last week. We're gonna we're gonna do what's called the uh, oh, no. the, the oh, sticker the game. Go get your pee break. <laughs> I yeah. thought it was gonna be the intermission, bro. Yeah, we're gonna be uh we're gonna uh, go on a pee break, yeah, for sure. Oh so, my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a five minute power nap, we'll be back. Yeah. What's the um what's what's the thing? Bad. You think yeah, pretty Roy, you, you think Ohio State's going to win the national championship this year? Here's the thing. I was talking to a fellow Ohio State fan in the chat, BLC, the other day. And I was telling him, you got Penn State. You got Michigan, which I see as two losses, if not very close wins for comfort. You also got... I mean, a win is a win, my guy. Yeah, exactly. You got three teams I could put you on the upset. Wisconsin, I said, Maryland, and there's one other I'll have to look for. But it, it, this is not going to be an easy year for you. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Don't make me cry again. Hey, man. While, while we do that, we'll, we'll take a look at this video and we'll all cry together. We miss, we miss Andrew Luck. Did everybody feel like this when Andrew Luck retired? I know this is a college yes. show, but... Yes. We'll put it bro, right I was I didn't know how to feel. It was this was in the middle of Florida, Miami, week zero, bro. I felt conflicted. Certainly sure, like, isn't how I uh, envision this or plan this. Uh, but but I am going to retire. Uh, this is not an easy decision. Uh, honestly, it's the hardest decision of my life. Uh, but it is the right decision for me. Uh, for the last four years or so, I've been in this cycle of injury, pain, rehab, injury, injury, pain, rehab. Uh, and it's been unceasing and relenting, unrelenting both in season, both in off and off season. Uh, and I felt stuck in it. And the only way I see out hello, hello, hello. Uh, is, is to, to no longer play football. Uh, it's, it's taken my joy of this game away. Uh, and uh, this... Sorry. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Fisher, are you back? Right. Yes. Okay. Now Dol- we took Dol- a, we took Dol- a Dol- shot of thug tear for Andrew Luck. Yeah, mm-hmm. thug uh, thug tears in the chat, man. Everybody put the crying Fisher. emojis. Everybody put the crying oh, yeah, emojis sorry, in the uh, chat for uh, Andrew Luck, man. Rest in peace. I had to I had to turn Rain in, bro. Sorry. All right. <laughs> no, nah, you're good. You're good. All right. Go ahead. Uh, where did we leave off? Did, did we just pause or what? Uh, we finished. Uh, we all got we finished Alabama. Alabama. We're, we're ready for you to move on with uh, your next topic. Uh, yeah. So Hayden's worst nightmare. Uh, yeah. Cal, Cal McCord is looking terrible. Ohio Wait. State. Uh, Emeka Buka in practice. Apparently, shout it out to the uh, team. Buka. He <laughs> <laughs> put a Y in that name. Oh, what? Buka. Emeka, Emeka Buka. Buka. <laughs> Buka. He yeah. Emeka Buka reportedly pretty much screamed to the team. He been he was being a leader, but he screamed to the team. We can't even complete up. Uh, be <laughs> screen pass. <laughs> Ooh. And that was that was that for that practice. The next practice they had, they said Devin Brown's gonna win a Heisman at Ohio State. That's how good he looks. <laughs> so looking like he's I the star. Hear, you said Cam Rising win the Heisman when well, he ain't even playing week one. He's yeah, win. it's because yeah, he plays yeah, in the Big Ten, up. so he, like, he, 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 Ohio State he wishes he wishes bro, death you, you upon every Heisman it's winner. Listen, be Hayden, Hayden's laughing now until Ohio State <laughs> drops a fifty bomb on Wisconsin. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry. Yeah, facts. Just know there's facts. something behind this. That Just I know, Fisher and I getting free mini helmets, bro. That's all I'm. Just saying. know you're really gonna be mad behind. when you both got Devin like Brown, me a mini helmet. Devin Brown is the next Ohio State quarterback, and he's gonna be probably. Just just as good as Justin Fields. Well, that's, that's hard mm-hmm. to say, but uh, uh, close to as good as Justin Fields, C.J. Stroud. He's, uh, that's probably just what's going to happen as far as like 
the past shows us. It's probably going to happen. Yeah. We're going to do oh. Don't worry, probably guys. We're going to... We're going to do a mid-season college football playoff update and a Heisman update from what our original choices were. And I we'll, we and we'll the see. Because, God damn, I know I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I shouldn't have picked the Aggies. Nah, nah, it's all good. We can, we can revisit it, but we'll see how close Hayden was to that Cam <laughs> Rising pick, though. Because if, if, if you don't start week, if you don't start week one, it's over for oh, him. It's you over. Know. It, it, yeah, it's over. <laughs> Even if he, if he starts week one and if he looks terrible because he's not a hundred percent, bro, it's over. If they he looks terrible, or ex- even if if they lose they without him, the excuse of yeah. they they ain't gonna give him the excuse of oh well he's only injured. It don't matter, bro. That says an L in the column, bro. There's and an L in that call. An unranked one. Florida team as well at the yeah. time. Again, again, <laughs> again. Last year was yeah. a fluke. Nah, if like yes. you know it's uh, bad right. with that's, Amari. That's, that's later. The, the game. This ain't the game, this ain't game that, predictions. Yeah. This ain't game predictions. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that next week. Yeah, I got. All right, so I got one more, and then I got one more point to bring up. But the last one is that. Uh. Arch Manning th- ran for a 50-yard touchdown run in practice, and he clocked in at 20 miles per hour, a little over 20 miles per hour. That point, and man. also, Quinn Ewers was, was bombing it to receivers. So I'm assuming a lot of deep oh. balls. Oh my! God. So that's that. And then lastly, my boy Quinn. I want y'all's opinion on this. Because this one's very interesting. And I don't think this is even in the notes. But before you move on to that, before you move on to that, Fishing, I I, I just need to mention, I just need to mention one thing. If Arch Manning is balling out like that, and and with how Bo Nix and them stayed, and now with them staying in college, more more likely now with the NIL, Quentin Ewers might stay at Texas, especially if he's this close from winning the Heisman, too. And guess where Arch Manning going? Oklahoma. Or all those? No, I still keep it that Quinn Ewers would go to Oklahoma because the, 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 the pressure, the pressure of Arch Manning and Malik Murphy being there. I, I don't let him get hurt this year either. Malik Murphy coming and still his job. I. Uh, uh, no, uh, that's what it, that's what it would take. And then it I'm gonna bring up every that. single tweet because I got them all bookmarked, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna yeah. be a, I'm gonna be a demon. Do. I got them do. all bookmarked. I'm gonna be a we demon, bro. Woo, my lord! All right, go ahead. All right, last one. And this is, hey, hey, Dante. You know, you know the factor cap statement, right? Yep. You know the segment. So I'm gonna ask y'all. They did that at the cap. Phillies game. No, yeah. no, cap or no cap, sponsored by cap New Era. No yeah, yeah, tell me this. Tell me this. <laughs> so, Bear, uh, two two players have pretty much said this. Bear Alexander, D lineman from Georgia, five star. Yeah. Transfers to UFC or UFC. You, you, I'm discombobulated, bro. But uh, <laughs> transfers to UFC, and he says the talent gap from Georgia to USC isn't that much different. And we're talking defensive players here, and we know how USC's defense has been. Hmm. The same is for Damian George, offensive tackle from Alabama. He goes to Florida. Mm-hmm. He says, yeah, the talent, the talent from here to Alabama isn't that much different. Is this fact or cap? Well, let, let's start off with the uh, Florida one. <laughs> Because I, I fish and I feel like you got something to say like, about that USC Georgia one, but let's start off with the Alabama Florida one. That one I I would not be surprised with with their with your guys' class coming in because you guys are ranked right, right now fourth. No, we're three. Third, three, three, three. You just passed Alabama. Yeah, but that's not the class coming in. He's playing with the class from right before. now. It was the talent from three years before plus the, the class that came plus in. Plus this year's class. All I'm going to say is, is all I'm going to say is from Same last year's here, class, Arlington Boardingham, that dude balling out, just saying. <sighs> yes. Yes. So, I mean, it's, it's not. Alabama this it's year? Before. I, uh, I'll say that one's closer than the USC Georgia for defense. Well, it, it better be. It has to be. 
Because we saw what USC defense did last year with Tulane and y- Utah twice. They got cooked. Mm-hmm. Absolutely cooked. Tajay Speard had, had his way with them last year. Tajay Speard? Speard. <laughs> Tajay, Tajay did spear him, but yeah. Is that Tajay the, Speard. Is that like his... Tajay his really American good, though. Tajay really moved. good, though. So, he so with Cam Carroll. Nah, his, nah, his real name is Blackfoot. What? <laughs> black, <laughs> black feet. Yeah. Black, black, black feet. feet. Like I should. Yeah, black feet. No, don't laugh. Y'all white. You can't laugh at that joke. <laughs> I, 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 I won't eat it in. Dave Chappelle told me a joke about that. Yeah, I was about to say, if it's Dave Chappelle approved, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really good. good. Black feet. <laughs> Anyways. I feel like it would have been worse if we said it. Said it, yeah. Oh, yeah. It <laughs> would have been clear. Tent. We good. I think they took the bullet for us. All right. Anyway, what's your thoughts? Man, Hayden, man. Hayden don't have any thoughts on this. What, what's, your, what's y'all's thoughts? Hey, I wasn't done with the USC part before I was go, go with Tajay Speared. No, but it's cooking. like, how can you do that when you're their best player on defense, when their defense is like probably one of the worst in the Pac-12 itself? And then you're going to be going to a Big Ten, which, uh, like, Ohio State's offense is going to have their waivers to. Michigan's offense is going to have their waivers to. You You could even say, like, uh, newcomers in Nebraska could have their way with you. If you don't got a good run defense or a good pass defense, you're not going to thrive in the Big Ten. You're going to be probably in the middle of the road. Bro. It's going to show. He he's capping. That's cap. Oh, yeah. That's cap. 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 People say oh, whatever oh, they. Cap. People want to say what they want over the team that they're on mm-hmm. currently. He obviously left, and it could be because of a couple things. Because he was tired of the snap count that he was getting at Georgia not being as much as he thought it was. Just like Jermaine Johnson did and went out to Florida State, but Florida State was a better defense than than USC is. So mm-hmm. let's 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 stop that right there. Second of all, Barry Alexander. You're going to the Pac-12 where they don't play defense. They are known as they is the new Big 12. Big 12 never played defense either, and now Pac-12 had put up some of the highest scoring games of that we've ever seen last year. So let's stop that right there. And then let's see how you look against Bo Nix when you're not going to be able to get to him because he's going to be running all on y'all this year, just like he did last year. So we'll 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 see we'll see how that works out. But to say the the conference that gets the most drafted players that builds the best players in the country that has the most that puts out the best recruits every single year that their defenses are not are not as good as USC you need to cap 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 you just admit you were you you were unhappy and so you went to Lincoln Riley scene because they probably paid you 50 million dollars to come there and be one of the best D linemen in the country stop 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 like a video he's on like the 25th floor on an apartment complex Oh my! So they, that dude, I hate that elevators. You'll yeah. never get me up there. I'd be like on the, <laughs> oh, on the last floor. Dante, like, I'm taking the stairs every day. Yep. Hold up, yeah, hold up, man, Dante. This man don't have a he don't have a dorm. He's he's got a freaking condo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Dante, you, you already Dante, know what it is. Yeah. You already know what it is. But Dante, yeah, I, I, you got something important as well in that. You forgot how Georgia had the best defense too the last few years. Do you want to know this? Do you want to know the snap count the first stringers averaged on Georgia? I read this the other day. 22 snaps was the average of every starter on Georgia's defense. Wow. 22 snaps a game. Per game? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) They they rotate that much. Here's the thing. That's why he transferred. If, If you left. You sh- if you left Georgia, you're missing out on championships. Let's be honest, because USC ain't going to be nowhere near the playoffs this year. You are missing out on like huge development. You're going to develop better at Georgia than you would at USC, because if you truly are that good of a player that you claim to be, you would have been able to be a first round draft pick with Georgia. Look at. Jalen Carter, look at Devondre. You would have been drafted by the Eagles. Let's just be. You would have been drafted by the Eagles. We already know it. But look at Devondre White, first round pick. Look at Jordan Davis, first round pick. Look at Trayvon Walker, first overall pick. Hayden, I'm going to need you to stop recruiting for Georgia for one damn second, okay? (laughs) That's what you're doing. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> he said, he said, red is red, baby. Red, red is red. Is red. red. <laughs> but still, like, Georgia, they produces <laughs> the first round, like, tailings on the D line and the linebackers. You cannot deny that. You can even start to sound like Jordan Hall now. Let's stop the cap. <laughs> Hey, bro. But they produce the talents for the NFL. And let's be honest, Barry, you want to go to the NFL. You, you do. So if you, so I would stop trying to compare a defense that is doo doo. What is it like? Fish you say dog, dog, tra- dog, dog, track? Snap. dog snaps. Dog it's snaps. not that hard to remember. <laughs> I forget. Okay. Dog snaps and <laughs> USC. It's, and it's the hair dye is seeping into your brain. Stop it and willingly leave the best defense. Go ahead. I I, I can't wait to see you complaining mid season when USC has a couple losses and Georgia's undefeated. Anyways, bye bye. Okay, thank you, Hayden. All right, that's your daily. I, I agree with, uh, I agree with, Georgia with most Hayden. of it. I agree. Yeah, I think it's all cap. It's completely all cap. I mean, you you can't tell me Alabama has the same talent as Florida. Alabama's recruited in the top three for 10 years in a row. Florida's been in the top 20 for most of those 10 years. Mm-hmm. USC defense is yeah. Duke butt butt, dog snaps. Dog snaps. Georgia's defense is number one in the country. Not only that, but they recruit in the top five every single year, mainly on defense. So it's 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 a bunch of it's a bunch of dog snaps, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, literally, Lincoln Riley's brother should have been a defensive coordinator instead of an offensive coordinator, and maybe they would have been better. But, you know, <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, Ariapki. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh.